I hope everyone's having a good night, or a good day, rather. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot uh, there's a lot to say, a lot to do, and uh, a lot of card packs to open. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Let me actually see here. Uh, let me take that a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Okay. I had to take my volume up just a little bit more. Ba 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 ba. Okay. So, uh, yeah. What's up, everyone? Let's see here. Oh, as you can see, let me, uh, let me actually get back to this. Oh, there's Chad. There he is. So, yeah. <sighs> Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you all are uh, doing well, and hopefully everyone is here to enjoy some Pokemon card pack openings. So, uh, yeah, we got to, uh, let me actually get the uh, uh, pop-out chat. There we go. Let me, uh, there we go, plus that. There we go. Okay, now I can see chat, and I can also see what's going on on my stream, so boom. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's... Uh, so, Chad, today we have, uh, as you can see here, some Vivid Voltage, some Burning Shadows, and our last uh, tens of... Oh, come on, dang it. Our last tens of Shining Fates, as you can see here. We have these, and we're going to open them, and that's probably going to be the last Pokemon card pack opening stream for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, after that, we're going to do sorting streams and uh, get ready to send a lot of these bulk cards out. To the people, uh, you know, the people who've been watching these streams and who've been sticking with us through this entire ordeal, which uh, we thank you all so much for uh, the time and the uh, the effort of uh, coming out and joining us and seeing us sift through these and thankfully not bending any of these into oblivion. So, uh, have eaten and read some. yes, well, those were not valuable. I knew the value of them before I ripped them. Let's be honest. And plus, you and I both wanted to rip that Galarian Darmanitan, because we'd had enough of him. That Rillaboom, though, I did rip one of them, and you were like, no! Yeah, I like Rillaboom. Yeah, I like Rillaboom as well. It's just, I don't know. It, it just, to me, it had to happen. I just had to do it. So I'm getting all my stuff finished out here. All right, exit out of that. Okay. So, What's going on, Radio Man? Got some AEW fans stopping by before they go and watch AEW tonight. Oh yeah, Speaking cool. On that, what do you think about Christian showing? Oh, up? your uh, your uh, microphones. Uh, Can you hear me? There we go. Much better. Okay. Much much better. Can hear you. Yeah, now. we got some AEW fans that have dropped in the chat. Yeah, for... they're checking this out before they're uh, watching AEW Dark. Well, I mean, I mean, heck, thank you for stopping by and. Hopefully we can uh, provide y'all with a little bit of entertainment before y'all go watch uh, the body slamming and the the finger pointing and the the brethren. I oh. told him James Drake is the homie. Oh, James, yeah, yeah. He's been wrestling on Dark here recently. For, oh, yeah. For, uh, Everybody on your stream looks to see a better side of me wearing something other than jeans. Oh, yeah. Nick's, it's laundry day for Nick, and he's wearing uh, he's wearing pajama pants. Uh, so, pants. Yeah, the... The pants he wears. Yeah, he's. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Chad, Chad coming in a little soft for me. I don't know if that applies for. Every, I yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I fixed it. Yeah, he fixed it. He pulled his mic closer to him. So my thought, mic was pointed in the opposite direction. So that's probably why. <laughs> that's that. That is probably the culprit. Also, thoughts on Shaq and AEW. I awesome, think it's awesome. Dude. I think he kicked ass. He did a lot more than I was expecting for him to do. That bump he took through the table, dude? I mean, come on, dude. That's well, the power bomb he delivered. Well, yeah, dude. the power bomb as well. It was I, good. It was. It was. I mean, he's been training from the looks of it to a certain degree. I mean, given the fact that we were denied like the big show versus Shaq years ago, I think hopefully this will make up for it. I don't know if we'll get it, but here's to here's to hoping. But anyway, I've got to uh, we got my uh, cards here. We have 60 Burning Shadows, 36 Vivid Voltage, and 12 Shining Fates. I figured I figured I would start with Burning Shadows, so I'm going to set aside these over 
here for now. Actually, I'll move them over here out of the way because that's usually where I like put my uh, it's usually where I put my uh, extras and spares and all that. So uh, here we go. Let me go ahead and get this burning shadows started up here. He had a great performance. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. There's no doubt about it. Y'all could run a radio channel from how funny your stories are. Thank you, Omni. Thank you very much for that. Uh, uh huh. White back. I'm not sure if that's a oh. thing with Burning Shadows. I guess. I we think it is. Know. I think it is. Let me double check that. I'll, or I will double check that eventually. Here we go. Oh, come on. Bunch of stuff in the way. Two, three, four. Okay. Oh, I see something back there. What if right off the bat, dude? What if? Dude, I'm here for that. Oh. Fumble. <laughs> He's feeling it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, already. I am. I'm feeling it all right. Charmeleon, uh, Whirlipede, Wobbuffet, Alolan Vulpix, Sneasel, Venipede, Sandy Gast, Caterpie, Sophocles, and... Ho ho ho! Ho ho GX! Uh, a friggin' full art ho ho GX! Right off the bat. Oh my Man, gosh. That's not a chameleon. Ugh. Making you think something else. I, I, I was thinking it, dude. I was thinking it. I was like, oh boy. Yeah, look at this boy. Look at him. It's a good looking boy. He's gorgeous. Look at that thing. Mm hmm. I'm sleeving this bad boy up and top loading it. Alright. Dude, I'm going, I'm going straight for the chunk at you. You're going straight for chunky? Yeah. Go for it. Well, we got we got over a hundred card packs open tonight, so let's let's have some fun. I, I think I'm I think I'm gonna find it. This one. This is just Chunk of Chew heaven right here. Chunk of Chew. He's got Chunk of Chew. Chad's no, I don't. It. I've yeah. got a green back. Ah, he could still get a an amazing rare out of it. I'm hoping to. Vivid you get a Celebi. Some of my favorite amazing rare. Oh my god, I'd love to get a Celebi. <laughs> the fairy before you on. Uh, We're going well, places. It's not where we want to go. Well, I mean, we all got to start somewhere. Sometimes, uh... Yeah, some, some of us just start out with the GX ho -Oh. Yeah, I know, right? A full art GX ho -Oh, so that's... Yeah, yeah that I'm happy about that. Awesome. Which it was a... Uh, actually, no, the secret rare... Um, the secret rare, I think... I don't think it's in this pack, actually. For real? I don't. I don't... Well, I don't 100% know. I... Burning Shadows, the only one I was looking at was like the secret energies like you were talking about earlier. Oh, yeah. And then also the uh, sh uh, the uh, secret rare GX Charizard. Greenback. Yeah. One, two, three, four. There we go. Energy. Kaiway. Simseer, Heatmore, Tangela, Rhyhorn. Riolu, Cutie Fly, Tynamo, Simiseer, and an Electrode. Uh, Dr. Dale wants to know about the uh, official release for Battle Styles, what we think about that. I haven't seen a damn card in that set. Me neither. I, I, I've, I'm afraid it's going to be one that's not the best. I'm Well, here's the thing. I, if we wanted to, I don't know if we could, because... I've looked everywhere sold out online for the most part. Uh -huh. And if our luck, like, and given our local luck around here, oh, oh white back. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's very unlikely we will we will see the, the the likes of it on here, us opening them at least. I mean, I wouldn't mind you know, it. What, what other stuff would you guys like to see us live stream other than card pack openings? Is there anything that... Anybody has any suggestions for? We've been tossing different stuff around, you know, so. Tornadus. Tornanus. Tornanus. All right. What was one of the things we were thinking about, Nate? Like playing a magic game against each other, like building some proxy decks and learning you, you learning the game? Yeah, that that's one thing I was thinking about. Uh... Uh, by the way, Nate, warmer. is it fine for me to edit a request if I may that I made in the request channel? If you want to delete your request and then put and then post the new one 
so that it's more recent instead of us having to go back, then if you want to do that, go ahead. But, yeah. Live stream reactions, Super Mandible Claw said. You know, didn't we talk about doing, like, really short clip, like, meme reactions, live streaming them? Like yeah. Like, videos that are out there that are, like, maybe two minutes or something like that that we usually don't dedicate full like stream days to, or uh, recording days to yeah we talked about it we also talked about live streaming some reactions on twitch under like just chatting and shit like that yeah and then uh posting them back here on youtube like the highlights and stuff like that yeah because that way we're utilizing both platforms all right back to you chad yeah that would be pretty neat But, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the Pokemon cards. It's just getting out of control for Can't do anything, them. dude. Getting I mean, them is too much. Man. I mean, I've driven around to almost every place in this area trying to get them, and no dice. Like, everywhere you I've gone. You travel every week, man. You yeah, really do. I try, dude. I mean, I want, I want to open more of these, but we just can't because of the lack of them. And try and buy them online? I mean, Jesus. It's insanity. I mean, they That's want, insane. like, for these right here, some people, like, Burning Shadows, people are asking, like, $10 Ooh, a pack. Lugia oh, Lugia. I love nice. that. That's one of my favorites of all the sets. I like that, yeah. And then, of course, there's Vivid Voltage, which there's people asking 12 bucks for those. And then Hidden Fates, $20. Shining Fates, $15. And it's just like, guys, you can get these packs for, like, $4 a pop in the tens. But everyone's yeah. buying up the tens and just, like, nickel and diming them. That's That's all they're doing. Yeah. And it's it's nonsense. It, which is why some stores have resorted oh, to... Oh, dude, actually, we do need to battle each other in Pokemon Stadium. We oh, yeah. We still have yet to do that. Yeah, we, <laughs> we need to. We need to, yeah. It will definitely happen. Who's going to be your starter? I don't know. Who, I... who do you open up with? Oh, wow. That's back. that's I don't know, man. That's that's the kicker. There's there's I I have to like if we're limiting ourselves to like Pokemon Stadium 1 or 2. Uh-huh. Mm, I, I don't think, know. I think 2 would be 2 would, would would be probably the most balanced. You think? Yeah. Okay. Because there's a lot more options. Psychic is just extremely broken in, in the first gen. Uh, I'm a champ GX. Uh, I'm a champ. I'll take Speaking it. Speaking of the first gen. I'll take it. All right. Welcome uh, to the new stock market. Back to you, Chad. Not quite. No, no, no. Not quite at all. Scalping is just more of a... That's not stock market. That's, yeah. that's, that's pretty much just like... That's pretty much what the mafia did with like certain goods. They would buy them all up as they came in on the ships, and then they would sell them at an escalated price so that they could uh, like cut money off the top. They pretty much played middleman. Bro, have you seen that documentary on HBO about the mob guy rigging the McDonald's uh, Monopoly game? Yeah, that's why there was no winners, dude. Like, no one like ever claimed like the prize publicly. And that's why. Well, I mean, a lot of people did, but like they didn't go into any real detail about anything. They just slowly crept out of the spotlight as quickly as they could. Well, you know, that's you effectively the um, same thing that Whitey Bulger did. You know that? Yeah. He claimed he won the lottery like four times. And oh, shit. VMAX. Aha. Colossal VMAX. He, he what? Whitey Bulger claimed that he won uh, the lottery like four times, dude. And uh, and and people, he literally showed up to people's houses, bought the ticket off of them, took the ticket, and used it as a tax write-off. Oh my god! Favorite struggle meal sandwich? Struggle meal sandwich? Uh, yeah, uh, bread and syrup sandwich. Dude, peanut did, butter, I, peanut butter sandwich every time. Dude, I couldn't even afford peanut butter most of the time. I had to look in the cupboard for what we had, and we had this old bottle of, like, mit, like uh, Aunt Jemima... No, no, it was Miss Butterworth. Miss Butterworth syrup, and it was not good. Not good. No, that sounds terrible. Did you at least toast it? A little bit, but... That would be the best way to do that, in my opinion. 
because like I even toast my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They're just I do that up. too. I do that too now. Yeah, <laughs> it's just better. Mashed mashed potato sandwich. Oh, Ooh. get out of here, bro! Why don't no. you just just make toast and then eat the mashed potato? You don't have to put them together. No. Hey Nate, I have a A three twenty M A Pro Max motherboard. What would you recommend for an update? dude like a force like a 450 or a 470 like that would be like the number one thing i could recommend all right back to you chad people asking us to do nuzlocke runs of no 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 and i'm not playing an rpg like that until like a new game comes out that excites me because persona 5 was enough jesus i'm done so, with rpg for a minute so super mandible claw yeah the three the 320a well, Mac pro max is base. all right uh but yeah 450 or 470 yeah that like if you can find one that's the thing because certain computer parts are just impossible to find now yeah what's the deal with that uh, it's chip shortages like from uh, people swooping in and buying up all the and buying up all the stuff and scal again scalping dude that's all it is it's yeah. people thinking they can make a quick buck and just like oh hey I'll just go in and buy all the computer parts then people will pay me a lot of money for them it's just like no people have been patient for graphics cards for god knows how long and there are some who are willing to part with it that's like Grizzy like the YouTuber Grizzy he was saying yeah. you know there's a guy offering me like $3,000 for a 3090 I really want a 3090 should I do it and everyone unanimously told him no do not give that bastard the satisfaction and he didn't he didn't I mean you, you gotta teach scalpers a lesson otherwise they're just gonna keep doing it year after year after Scalper. year yeah that's all they do man that's literally all, all they, they do. do they don't care they don't care about you. Yeah. They don't care about what you want. They only care about themselves. Dude, Hence they do what they do. marshmallow spread sandwich sounds really fucking good, actually. Mm. I could go for that. I like so, Nutella, dude. Philip is the one who taught me about Nutella. Nutella? I didn't know about it. I, I'm guessing it was big in, bigger in Europe than it was in America for a while. Yeah, and now it's here in the U.S., and it's very, very popular. Yeah. In Podmyath, Magic Heart, Butterfree, and Persian. Persian. All right. Back to you, Chad. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's go with Burning Shadows here. Shurning Battles. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Oh, shit. Oh, white back. Very nice. You are the lizard puller, man. Oh, dude, I you've love pulled, the you've pulled lizard right now. Oh, yeah. Give me that secret rare GX. Secret rare GX Charizard. What do we no, got? Wild Plume. Oh. It's okay, though. It's okay. A crisp sandwich. Oh. Yeah, that's with potato chips. Yeah. yeah. I've actually done that. I actually did the uh, Dorito and uh, cheese sandwich one time. Dude. Good. It was good. I loved it. I but I can't do making, it anymore. Uh, making taco meat with like the Taco Bell seasoning and then just pouring it over top of like a um, bowl of Doritos, a bowl of Doritos with sharp cheddar cheese slices mm -hmm. put on top of it. So that oh, when you homie. pour it on top, it melts it off. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're talking my language right there. I'm going to start sweating and rubbing my chest. <laughs> Don't do that now, please. <laughs> Lucas Paradox said, Nutella, you mean chocolate cocaine? I love it. Oh, cocoa cane. There we go. Soul Rock, Horsey, Noibat, Galarian, Riolu, Cutifly. Yo, what's in, Col What's going on, Colin Wallace? Glad you're in this YouTube stream. Oh, yeah. All right. Back to you, Chad. <laughs> Ball Bloom. Ball plume is a stink flower, Doctor Dale says. Yes, it. it what it, I call it, my butt. Stink flower. You hear my <laughs> silence, right? You hear my silence. That's me, just like not wanting to retort on that because I'm just like, no. Embrace no. your inner beauty, Nate. What inner beauty? Your inner I, booty. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. All right, go. Uh, it's back to you, Chad. Oh, I'm done halfway through the pack. You're not. You're not on it on my screen. I'm not. No. I done fucked up. It's okay. There we go. And it happens. Snorlax. Norslax. Yeah. At least it was a hollow. Oh, yeah. Back to me. Back to you. All right. There we go. <laughs> Another burning shadows. Y'all can Everybody can get offended about my vile plume butthole if they want to. That's fine. No, no, no. I'm not offended by it. I'm just like, I'm not disappointed either. I know what to expect from you. It's just like, <sighs> you I'll, know. I'll ruin your childhood little little crumbs at a time god of course you will better than the internet they just go ahead and go oh rule 34 oh, remember, yeah remember all that beautiful awesome stuff that that you just love and connect your beautiful memories to yeah about that Pinnacles. oh don't <laughs> crawler charmander sneasel grimer routes or lowland rattata and a brutchish. All right. I'd want a wet bread sandwich. What? No. What is that? That's that's nothing, dude. It's literally all and terrible. Yeah. I mean, I've been slapped with wet bread. That that stuff does not smell or like in any way like it's not good any way around. Okay. Well, I will definitely try not to be involved in any wet bread. But I do want to get this big fat Pikachu because we got a trade to make if we can't get a shiny Charizard. Yeah, if we can't get a shiny VMAX Charizard. Uh, I've worked out a potential trade with uh, Wildcat. Uh, if we pull another chonk, uh, Rainbow Chonkachu, we will initiate a trade with him for one of his uh, VMAX shiny Charizards. Main thing is... I just we just really want a V Max Char shiny V Max Charizard and he's got two. Have to have to make a deal. Get on the horn. We got. I'm Colin. trying. We have to hey, I already party. I already tried to make the deal. Hey, Renegades, will you ever play Borderlands? We've tried to play Borderlands multiple times, and uh, yeah, it's all right. I started into the tutorial of the game and then I can't remember what happened. Like I'm. You know, I'm in a relationship, and I'm 30, almost 32. Yeah. In June, I'll be 32. So it's, like, hard for me to reinvest into games that are going to take a while, and I have to relearn all the shit and everything when there's so many badass ones that I own that I'm trying to, like, already do that with. <laughs> Team Six might reunite it out if Alpha is, is successful. Dude, what did you expect? I mean, that's exactly what we saw in the most recent death run that me and Chad did, or me and Chad watched. Oh, yeah. That's what te that that was Team Six, yeah. But the truth is, like Vanos, Terrorizer, Wildcat, and uh, basically are the ones that spearheaded Alpha Betas, and Delirious and Nogla were off doing their own thing. I mean, first off, both Nogla and Delirious had kids. I mean, yeah. so. That eats up a lot of their time. So, like I was just talking about, you can't do the shit that you want to at certain points. It's just like you have to prioritize some shit, and it sucks. It like, does. Relationship. Well, it, it, it sucks when you have to throw stuff that you used to do and love by the wayside, but it's for things that you have to. I mean, it's just you, you have to do that. And there's a difference between putting it at the wayside and putting it in the garbage can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a difference between taking a break and breaking up. Well, yeah. I mean, breaking up, that's effectively, like, like that's pretty much, like, blowing the whole situation up. Like, And right. that's, that's not healthy. That's not good. No. But, um, especially if you got a kid involved, because that's, you know, I know Nogla and Aaliyah, they love each other, so, you know, I, I know Nogla's not going to, like, blow that up because he loves Aaliyah to death. Same thing with uh, Delirious. Uh, oh, oh, ah, damn. Same thing with Delirious and his wife. I mean, they love each other. You know, Liz is, and also Liz is really cool. I mean, she's she's also a cosplayer and like she's an internet personality herself, so she understands the life, but they both got to take time for their kid. That's just how of it course. is. All right, back to me. Uh-oh, short boy in the room. Speaking of loved ones, what's up? Yeah. Buddy? 
What are you doing? Most YouTubers have quit due to them having kids. Yeah, in some cases, that's how it is. I'm surprised John DiMaggio is a part of it. Yeah, John DiMaggio is a part of it. Chris Parnell is a part of it. I mean, they've got a they've got a good cast and crew working on this. A lot of the people that worked on, a lot of the people who worked on Rick and Morty are working on this with them to try and get the comedy right. I mean, that's just how it is. Don't say break up, rip, rip Daft Punk. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's not been that long since Daft Punk broke up, but yeah, I'm still feeling that one a little bit. I loved Daft Punk. Up, Will. Yeah, that does suck. That they oh, there's that your boy. For a long time. There My you, man. There's your boy. Dark Ray. Reverse Hollow Dark Ray. Dreams, bitch. What's his move? Hypno Blast. Uh, Hypno Blast and Dark Ray. Dark Ray. Look at Dark Ray. <laughs> That's fucking bitches. 80 like plus. It. Yeah, 80 plus. If your opponent already used their GX attack, this attack does 80 more damage. So oh, does can potentially do 160 damage. Yeah. There we go. All right. Back to you, homie. Nice fucking pool, dude. Yeah. That was all right. It was all right. Not bad. Not Love bad. to see that dark rye secret rare, dude. Come on. Well, yeah, man. I mean... That and Pikachu... Would be great pulls tonight. Ooh. Oh, oh, white back. You're getting all the white backs now. I've gotten nothing but green backs pretty much since I got that ho oh. Really? Pretty much. Like I've had like one or oh, two more. Dude, oh. I think that's it. I think that's the GX. Oh, it's oh, gone. I knew damn. it looked different. I was like, fuck, dude. Maybe. You were I that's was hoping too. I was like, oh, 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 no. Damn. Denied. Mother mucker. It All happens. Right. Get something big. Go big league. I miss Daft Punk. Their Tron movie was so underrated. Yeah, Tron Legacy was a good movie. Uh, the problem with it was is just it it didn't know what kind of audience it wanted. That's kind of the problem the first one had. I mean, it's... Uh, damn it. Another fucking greenback. I guarantee you, I could count through here and I've only got like two or three white backs out of all damn. the ones we've opened so far. I'm getting shafted. Buffalant. Oh, you're welcome, Will. I try Can to I get wait? in there and like and react and comment to to all the comments we get on our videos, but I just can't. It just it, gets now, to too I much, used to man. Be able to now, I can't. Well, it, it, that's how I was too, man. A long time ago, I used to comment to and reply to every comment we received, and now we get on average. Like 60, 70 comments per video that we release. It's like, Jesus. Yeah. Can't keep yeah. up. There's one video, dude. We got over 3,000 comments. Yeah. I'm like, and I it's can't not keep out up. Of, like you said, it's you want to. It's not out of want. It's just like, would you rather us reply to everybody's comments or make more videos? That's the, that's, and that's the thing. I mean, prioritization. I mean, down to, you know? well, that's just like me and doing uh, like stuff here on Discord. I love doing stuff on Discord. Oh, back to you, Chad. Okay. I mean, I love doing shit on Discord. I love it. But I, at yeah. the same time, I don't have as much time to do it because between running the channel and getting videos edited and uploaded, and it, it's, it can be difficult. Maintain a relationship with your friends and family. That's the other thing, too. Yeah. Uh, well, it's just like the other day, I went to my dad's house, and I hooked up two cameras on the outside of his house, and I had to walk him through how to set up everything on his phone. Like, right. I signed in on my phone, and then I had him sign in on his, so that way everything updated automatically on his phone, and he didn't have to, like, come out and... Or oh, Beetle. Or Beetle. There we go. That's a good Or Beetle? Yeah. Or Beetle. Or what? All right. Back to me. Burning Shadows. I'm getting low on my first stack of Burning Shadows. I'm going to have to count through and see how many greenbacks I've got out of these, because yeah. I'm about to call shenanigans... Tron Legacy definitely looked cool. Oh, Tron Legacy, I liked it a lot. My whole thing was, there's just things about it that I would have changed to like make it a little bit more appealing to a little bit more of a mainstream fan base while maintaining, you know, the identity of Tron. See, another just fucking kind of greenback. With the lore, you know. Well, yeah, and in, in which it's it's hard to to make something as niche as Tron uh, cool. Uh, with no prior, with nothing prior to it. I mean, it's well, hard to do. Especially how much later. Oh, oh, yeah, over almost 30 years later since the Long original. Ass time. 
And plus, the original was a cult classic. Not like a, it wasn't a right. big box office hit. It was a cult classic. More of an influence stylistically for like artists and directors and shit. Yeah. I mean, it was, oh, yeah. dude, some of the shit was ahead of its time. Some of the 3D graphics yeah. they had in it were amazing. But again, but again, I mean, I mean, it's been parodied and like, like homaged more times than I can count. I mean, look right. at Futurama, look at like Family Guy, like. A bunch of modern stuff has has referenced Tron. I watched Blade Runner, like the original, like the uh, select cut or whatever. Oh yeah, the one that's on HBO Max. Yes, of the old one. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just wasn't really blown away by it as far as the plot. I thought it was a beautiful film. I thought it looked. Oh yeah, cool. Ridley Scott had a lot of really great. cool ideas, but I don't think that the story was that interesting. And, and you see. Um, Ridley Scott felt the same way and he's tried to recut that film multiple times because he feel he felt like there's a version in, of this film that I didn't really get a chance to put out and yeah it's just it's just unfortunate yeah. that it didn't come out the way he wanted it to 100% but yeah I didn't know that but uh, that makes sense to me but it's also like but again you know it doesn't take away the influence that the film has. I mean, people always no. look back on Blade Runner and are just like, it's one of the greatest, like, like achievements in film history. And I'm like, yeah, in terms of special effects, in terms of, like, uh, in terms of, like, ideas and in terms of storytelling in certain ways, yeah. It's like, another fucking greenback. I'm going to count after I'm done with this stack of Burning Shadows. This is 30 Burning Shadows packs that I've, that I've gone through. And I think I've only had two or three... Uh, white backs. Like it's Two. getting it's getting ridiculous. One, Sims. two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've had seven. There we are. Hmm. Actually, I'm a I'm gonna count real quick myself while you're opening yours. Uh, go ahead, Chad. Back to you. Uh, no, I don't think I've, we've reacted to any of Marcel's videos. Uh, we, we did back in the day. We haven't, uh, music. one, Never I have had that. two, dude. I've had Damn. two whitebacks. That's it. Two. That's it. Yeah, I've had seven. I just pulled the bad stack. I pulled you, the bad uh, stack. Oh, grain. Ah. But you were saying, dude? Yeah, I've n I don't remember reacting to any of Marcel's. Uh, with you, I haven't, but back in the day, we did a few, and they were... Like, Marcel, like, I remember back when he was doing Gmod with all them, his videos, how they were edited, they were actually more of my favorites than some of the others. Like, even more favorite than, like, like, like Wildcat or Vanoss. But, but over time, I don't know, it's just... I guess comedic stylings change, people change, and, you know, it's just... I don't know. It's just like I used to love Ricky Gervais, but now I don't as much anymore. I mean, yeah. like comedic stylings change, man. I mean, it's just like That's music. That's true. And as I much, think he's just kind of sick of a lot of shit, and it seems like he's not having as much fun as he is just venting and upset about shit. Yeah. Nikki, do you want to open a pack? We got people on here who might want to see you. Yeah. I finally got another white back. You can just use your hands. Stick your hands these, right here. These, uh, these card packs heard me talking shit, and they gave me a white back again, finally. Nate's having a rough time. Panseer and a Zygarde. Dr. Dale says, come on down to the Olive Garden and get you free breadstick. Yeah, that's one of my favorite Marcel moments. I mean, that was hilarious. Uh... They were playing a uh, they were playing a level that was like l looked like an Olive Garden, and he literally went up on the roof and he made his character start dancing. And it was like, "Come on down to the Olive Garden and get your free breadsticks." And then he his character would freeze again, and then like make it look like he wasn't doing anything. Ridiculous! <laughs> it, it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I've had some hilarious like like moments watching them and just They're like. Lucas What's Paradox up? just said, let Shorty open a pack. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Next thing you know, yeah. we find out, like, it's like he eats and we're like, well, I guess we'll find out here in a few yeah. days what it was. And then all of a sudden he poops out a Rainbow GX Charizard. No, he gets the Rainbow GX Charizard and we try to pull it from him and he's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then the card's fucked. 
royally. Oh, I'm shit. going chunk at you hunting. Chunk at you. Go for it, Chad. We need trade material. Get your ass over here. Weird. Feels like Markiplier might be done with YouTube soon. He's making lesser content than usual. I think it's because, uh, keep in mind, he did his main channel and he also did Unus Anus for a solid mm. year. A new video a day for a solid year. I mean... That's tough. It is. It is. Especially during... He did it during the pandemic, too. Think about that. He did it, like... I couldn't believe that. I was like, holy crap, uh, is he really doing it? Ah. Very nice. But... Oh, wrong one. There we go. But, yeah, and... I don't know. If Markiplier does quit YouTube... I don't think he'll quit. I think he'll take a break. Much like how Jack Septic I did, because... You know, Jack lost his father, so it's completely understandable that he would want to take a break. But, you know, Jack Jack Septicai's back now, and uh, he's having fun again. And don't think your content creators are going to leave, but also don't expect them to stay, because they're their own people. They're going to do whatever the hell they want, and, you know, it. hopefully you can... Hopefully they'll stay around long enough to keep entertaining you, but if they don't, I mean, you know, there's plenty of other content creators on this website that can entertain you hopefully yeah speaking of chad <laughs> hopefully we can hopefully we can provide yeah. you with some entertainment super mandible claw said jordy what are you chewing jordy chews faster when you said shorty you looked up at you like what big guts and bigger guns Oh yeah, God! That sounds cool. All right, back to you, Chad. Didn't Jack also take a break during the riots? Yes, he did. Jack's taken a few breaks, in which, again, dude, there's a lot of pressure on well, a lot of I guys. Mean, why not? If that's what you need. Well, if shit's upsetting you, I mean, yeah. If you feel like, you know, you need to, you know, you need to take a break for for you know for multiple reasons. I mean, dude, take breaks. Sometimes plugging in is not the answer. No, <laughs> because no. Because there's more, there's more money fueled into manipulating your emotions than anything you could ever imagine. Ellie Gaming, no, I do not like DSP Gaming. Dark Side Phil can go jump off of a cliff head first, if you ask me. And people tell me I look like him. I'm sorry, I am much more handsome than that chode of a human being. You're a beautiful man, Knight. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Plus, he all talks. He talks like this all the time, and he's always just like, you know. I just think people, you know, Ooh, you don't know, Leon. Oh, hello, Leon. Full art. Anybody seriously who got caught masturbating on stream? That's right. That did happen. Did you know that, Chad? What? Dark Side Phil got caught masturbating on stream. Like he, he got he, caught yanking it. That's he real pride. Yeah. Nuts. Hey, Renegades, what happened to your mini lad videos? Well, we announced this uh, several months ago. We were privating them, and if anything, I'm probably going to remove them because I honestly have no respect left for Craig. I, yeah, me, well, not just me's controversy because you, you see, here's the thing about controversy controversy often states like there's no proof of it, there's nothing but proof of what like there's two sides, but it's like he straight up admitted that he was a fucking creep. Not only that, but there's he also abused eating a taco just yeah. now on live stream. Oh my god, yeah, and plus. He was plus he abused Sunny to the point of where she didn't want to stream anymore. Actually, she's quit streaming now because of what Craig did to her. That's it's disgusting, dude. Yeah, I and didn't that, know all that. Yeah, I mean, I, I have no respect for being a douchebag the first time I saw him. And I remember that, and you got called out for it. And now, mm -hmm. it, dude, you've done that multiple times. You've called out the Mulan movie for being like trash you've called out craig for being trash you've called out multiple things for being trash and you've been proven right and you know what yeah. if people can't accept that fuck them yeah well it be what it be don't nobody know oh. why but it is anti-hat guy club looking real goofy yeah the anti-hat guy club yeah yeah now there is Did no anti-hat guy club buy any of those shirts no what the fuck man What's i put it that? out there i put it out there I they hate on me enough. Chad wants the hate. He thrives on the hate. All right, dude. See you in a few. Nick is going to be taking off and getting himself some uh, 
You got Logan and Jake Paul being idiots. What else is new? Ooh, there we go. Aha! Raiko, amazing rare. Very nice. All bang. right. Ba 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 bang, Ooh. baby. Finally got Wait, us a beautiful, blinding baton of badass that I'm about to pass to you, Nikki. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good now stuff. That's one of those them legendary dogs. Yep. Legendary um, and now dogs. I'm a, he was born from the hate, molded oh. by it. Yes, he was. Chad and I both were molded from it, but Chad thrived on it quicker than I did. It took me a while to realize, you know, if people out there hate me enough, I can actually, like, make a, like, kind of make them, like, so irritated they'll leave me the fuck alone. Or they'll love me even more. All right, so we got a white back. Two, three, four. I think me and Nate did watch Scott the Waz use games. We did. We watched we watched several Scott the Waz videos. We watched one here recently about midnight releases yeah. that'll probably be out if not tomorrow then the day after. Stone yeah, Energy and Lugia Hollow. I'll take that. I will take that all day. Lugia Hollow. It. Yeah, dude, you gave me that one. Yeah. The other one that you had. So now there's a there's two reverse hollows and a hollow. <laughs> Stacking Lugias. Stacking them, boys. Stack them up. Back to you, Chad. All right, let me sleeve these boys up. Yeah, that's one of the uh, one of the nicer Lugia cards out there. There's another promo one I want to show you that I just recently learned of that I think you're really mm -hmm. going to like. No surprise, it's only Japanese. What else is new? A lot of the badass promo cards are only in Japan, dude. I don't get it. Uh, worst WWE moment ever. Current product takes the cake. There's certain parts of the current product that I'm okay with. The fact that they finally turned Roman Reigns heel, but I think they yeah. did it a couple years too late, but still. Like everything else. He is like. It's out of style before they do anything. Yeah, and, and here, but here's the thing. He's actually done pretty good as the heel. Uh, it's just they need to give him a new rival in which they're giving him Daniel Bryan, which I can't wait to see what him and Daniel Bryan are going to do. Like, he had some killer matches against uh, Jey Uso and also against Kevin Owens. Dude. Like, great matches. Really. So. I, I don't even know how to announce this or how to say this, but Nikki's going to start streaming again, and she wants to raise oh. money for something. Now, we are moving to our own apartment, and That's there are right. plenty of things that we could, like, raise money for. Yeah, I'm going to announce your thing. Well, come over here. You can talk without being on camera. Go ahead. Go ahead, Chad. Go ahead. Uh, go full screen, right. dude. Go, go like, uh, yeah, there you go. Here's my full screen. There we go. So... Nikki has decided that she wants to raise money for a Guy Fieri tattoo. <laughs> and that's not a joke. Now, what's the description of this tattoo? Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, I was going to wait until, you know, a few years <laughs> or something. Um, so, I've wanted this for, like, I don't know, five, four or five years. So I want a Guy Fieri tattoo in a very specific style that I can't really explain on the back of my arm, but he's upside down that way when I like flip my elbow up in the air, like his face is beside mine, and then his hair would be our hedgehog that passed away. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they they had a, a hedgehog, a little hedgy uh, called uh, Girl yeah. Fieri. Girl Fieri. Yeah, and um, yeah, that was... That would be sweet. I'd like that a lot. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that is going to be Nikki's personal streaming goal to get a tattoo of Guy Fieri with Girl on Fieri on his on his head, <laughs> on her arm. Yeah. That's so that's actually anyway, really cool. Yeah. All right. Back to you. Uh, actually, uh, no, it's uh, it's on you, dude. Sorry. Really? Yeah, okay. it's on you. Sorry but, about that. Yeah. Is Chad becoming a daddy? Uh, no, Chad's not becoming a daddy, as far as we know, but instead he is... Ask your uh, mom. <laughs> I, I didn't want to be the one to tell you. <laughs> Damn. 
Savage. Savage. <laughs> Shorty didn't like that when he was upset about it. I bet he is. He's like, don't talk shit about mom like that, dad. God. Oh, gosh. Can't donate. Need to save money for my own ventures. Yeah, Logan. Yeah, we get it, man. Yeah, you're going into politics and all that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, an Orbeetle V-Max. Max. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. Back to me. Macho Man Chad Savage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jordy didn't like that either. I know Chad watched uh maybe maybe that is the case. Maybe you watched the used games video. Did I? I think so, because I remember oh, you I watching some saying. Scott the Waz videos on your channel. I think maybe we both reacted to them separately to that. Maybe because I know. I'll I've look and it. see. I'll look and see if I have if I find anything. Or I'll, if it's on our yeah. channel anywhere. We can talk about used games. I don't care. What are you, what are your what's your favorite used game that you've bought or that you've bought, not bought? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Let's see that I bought. Yeah. Mm. Let me look. I've actually got several up here that I've bought and I am really uh, <laughs> that I really am happy about that I was now able to throw find a copy of. on my English here. There we go. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hand me that taco. Where are we at? Taco me. And where's the last Come on. one? Come on. Okay. And. <laughs> and where are you at? Okay. These are the ones that I am most proud Damn, of. Damn, that sounds crazy. These are the ones I'm most proud of. Oh, shoot. Dr. Dale, you got to send me a picture of that Pokemon if you go. Got it. PsyOps, the Mindgate Conspiracy, a very underrated and, Ahead of often, its for, and often forgotten uh, action, uh, action adventure game where you play as uh, this guy here who has six different psychic powers and you have to figure out Insanity. how to how to do how to win the game with those you they unlock Remind as you of that X-Men uh, legacy game or whatever the one kind of different yeah yeah uh, twisted metal black uh, this one I found in a bargain bin and uh, it's my favorite twisted metal game by far I think it's everyone's twist favorite twisted metal game by far uh, let's see Let's see, what was this? And then, uh, and then we have the Warriors for PlayStation Two, which is also one of my favorite games I ever played when I was, uh, whenever I had my PlayStation Two. And then we go even further back, and I have Ape Escape, which, yeah, I found a copy of this for uh, ten dollars. And then this copy of Mega Man X4, which also tremendously like amazing game. I've also got X6 up here, and I've also got the Tony Hawk, the first two Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, Final Fantasy VIII complete. By the way, yeah, I've got Final Fantasy VIII complete up here. A few scuffs and scratches and a crack on the front of the case, but eh, that's expected. But uh, yeah, that's basically that's basically my uh, the Warriors was Good badass. Stuff. Yes, it was. The Warriors was a badass game. Anyway, yeah, those are the those are the used games that I've got that I'm very very proud of. Anyway, let Soul me. Soul uh, Silver for me. That's Soul Silver. Uh, that's that's my favorite game. That's the one that I actually play the most because it's a cartridge and I can't fuck it up really. That's fair. And it's not really that old, so. Drillberg, Clefairy, Wilmer, Dynamo, Donovan, and a Jolteon. All right. All right, we've got Vaporeon. I've got a Vaporeon and a Flareon. Yeah. And now, back to you, Chad. Got a Jolteon today. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Happy about that. Yeah, that Final Fantasy VIII's nice, man. Oh yeah, I'm happy about that. That case isn't in too bad a condition. No, no, the cracks on the front of it. I, it was the best one that I could find in this area. Well, the artwork is good looking, so oh, yeah, that's all yeah. that really matters. You can replace that case with any, any game with a couple of discs. 
I've also got That's some cool. SNES games back here I'm very proud of. Let me actually... Well, after you're done with this pack, I'll bring them up here and look at them. Fortress and a yeah. Garbo door. God, I can't believe my friend gave me that Godzilla um, SNES and an SNES. Just gave it to me. Yeah. I was like, thanks, dude. <laughs> I have to get a controller for it, but it's pretty dope. Okay, so here are my SNES games that I've got that I'm very proud of. Uh, Super Mario All Stars, which classic, the best, best, the best, game. yeah, one of the best Mario games ever. And then we have Secret of Mana, pretty much. I still haven't played it. Oh, dude, it's it's still never arguably it. SquareSoft's best. Like, uh, it in terms of it, it's pretty much like the first action RPG. Yeah, I've heard it's the best ever. It, it's one of the best. Yeah. Then I have F Zero, which God, is so always a hard. classic, and then. NBA Jam. I mean, Love it. come on. And then the PS de Resistance in its original case, or original rental case, Legend um, of Zelda, um, 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 Link um, to the um, Past. Um, and as you can see, the uh, artwork on the front is not the best. It's been worn and torn, but Nick played through it all the way uh, whenever I got it. He was just like, hold on a minute. And then he up here on the TV over here, he played it all the way through while I was over here, like, editing and live streaming for, like, a solid two days. It was unbelievable. But, yeah. yeah great game. Are, oh, yeah. But those are, uh... Those are my classic games that I'm the most proud of. So, there you go. Pretty bitch. At, least up, at least up here. There's a few more downstairs that I've got. But, uh, yeah, let's get back to some card pack openings. Here we go. Whoop, whoop. Mario World and Shaq Fu. No. Shaq Fu. Oh, Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu. Oh. What a funny ass game. Oh, funny as hell, but the fact that Shaq was trying to take it so seriously, I'm just like. <sighs> Look up the Japanese, uh, the Japanese game Stud Breeder. I, I that word that title <laughs> worries me. Here we go. It's not as exciting as you think. I played it. Gosh. All right, here we go. Hit him on top. Swoobat, Pikapek, Mudbray, Joltik, Weedle, Talo, League Staff, and Shedinja. All right, back to you, Chad. Yeah, it's actually like a really boring math game based around like genetic traits of horses and their speeds and odds of winning and stuff. It's just like, man, y'all really hyped this up with that name. Stud breeder. Is it like a horse breeding and racing game? Yeah. Uh, God. Very funny. Yeah, you ain't Japan kidding. Exclusive. We were robbed here in the States. True Blue Aussie. Uh, g'day, mate. How are you today? Mate, have any good cards? I have one. I pulled only one good card out of the... It out was of, like the first card. This was the first pack first pack and then nothing nothing after not a not a damn thing oh yes we do talk about that will we do talk about what i'm not down with bologna sandwiches bro bologna no bologna and there are a lot of japanese commercials with american celebrities oh that are funny as fuck looky here white back. a white back finally thank Come god on. Two, Come on. Three, four. <sighs> All right. What is it, Shorty? Shuckle, Nuzleaf, Memory Capsule, Fanfi, Yanma, Meowth, Duskull, Voltorb, Talo, and a Colossal V. All right. Damn it. Colossal. I got the V and you got the V Max. Yep. All right. Back to you, Chad. I think I'm on my last of the Vivid Voltage, so I'm going straight Burning Shadows now. Oh, okay. Go for it. <clears throat> Green. Ah. Damn. Damn. 
Nana found a collector's edition of a game that came with an actual piece of the Berlin Wall. That's, what the fuck? That's actually pretty damn funny. What game? It, yeah. World of Conflict. It came with a piece of the Berlin Wall. Jesus. That is insanity. Talk about a promotional piece. You ain't Good kidding. Lord. I mean, that's a piece of world history right there. I mean, oh. Das Berlin das Berlin Wall. Yeah. My first Renegade stream I've caught after watching you guys for three years. Chili Pie, what took you so damn long? I mean, we, we've been going live now for the last few, like, last couple months. Like, every Tuesday and Thursday. Japanese race horsing sim. Oh. Yeah. There are tons of them. There's a, I was surprised when I was looking through ROMs for PS1. I was modding the PS1 Classic and <clears throat> came across a bunch of weird Japanese games. The LSD simulator was super weird. All right, back to you, Chad. I respect the fact that they just let developers go ham back then. Like, oh, you want to put that game on PlayStation? By all fucking means, go ahead. Go for it, yeah. Good luck. Wow. This wasn't even... Was it look not even seal. sealed? Look at the seal on this. Oh. That's not good. That's a little suspect to me, bro. That's a bit sus, yeah. Look at this. That's not the best. Oh. Yeah. What are the odds of that? I don't know. I don't know. That's not good, though. That's not good. I'll put that one to the side for you. Yeah, please do, because that's... That's sus as fuck right there. Oh, wow. And to Nate, show us a few of your GameCube games. Sadly enough, I do not have any full GameCube games up here. I've got some Wii games, some Switch games, some 3DS games. I've got PlayStation 4 games, some PlayStation 2 games, some Xbox games, and some PlayStation 1 games. That's all I've got up here on the shelves games, games. in front of me. Yeah, I've got a bunch of different ones, but GameCube, I remember I like got rid of my entire GameCube Ooh. collection not too long, like, not too long after I was buying my uh or selling my wii yeah yeah I figured also what, the emulation the for gamecube is just getting pretty fucking good yeah yeah riolu eevee c dot electric clefairy kakuna and a perseeker hmm. <sighs> damn uh, i am wondering how many of these like Okay. I'm doing a card count again. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Where did, did you get the, uh... Did you get these burning shadows in the same place you got the vivid voltage? Uh, no. No. Yeah, I think you might have got hit with a reseal on this, bro. I don't know. I guess we'll see, because if I did, fuck. I mean, that's... Ooh, Muck Lowland Muck GX. GX. All right, back to me. I don't know, man. There's several things that are just like, mm. if I did get hit, they got me. They got me. Yeah. Was it an eBay deal? No. No, no. Okay. These, Amazon. Yeah, well, I got the vivid voltage from a guy in North Carolina, and I got the uh, I got the burning shadows from a guy in Georgia. So, hmm. Okay. Colin Walls. I'm pretty sure I've watched every single episode of Pokemon on VHS, but the only Pokemon I can ever remember is Pikachu. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of them. That's for sure. There is there is a lot of them. Alright, back to you, Chad.
Yeah, I don't know. If we do get, like, that's what gets me, dude. I pull the Ho-Oh out of the Burning Shadows first thing. Uh -huh. which, but ever since then, like, almost nothing. Yeah, and did you see how I'm opening them right now? Yeah, that's that's very sus. I don't think you should be able to do that. That's very sus. I mean, I don't know the condition or the the quality on these, but that's just... Mm. Yeah, I don't know about the authenticity. I just think it's really weird that they're popping open that way, whether it's from heat or whatever. I don't know. Me neither. I There's a lot of things that are not right. Another fucking greenback. Out of all the ones I've opened, I've had five whites. Five white Shit. backs. Uh, I don't know if the loose seal mean, means it's bad. It's just different than what we're used to. <clears throat> what we're used to. Um, usually it's a little bit tough to get into them. These are kind of just peeling back like... You no, know, can I do this? Do I have a new technique for opening cards? Maybe. That seal's a little bit tougher. Yeah, that's a lot more difficult to open. Yeah. From the looks of it. But it's still a green bag. I'm not calling hacks, but I am saying sus. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess back to me. There we go. Damn. I have enough of a hard time keeping up with all the cards. How do you keep up with knobs? Jeez. Oh, hey, look, a friggin' white back, finally. Oh, my God. Thank God. See, I think it's. I think these card packs are just like, oh, shit, he's talking shit. We need to give him a white back so he'll what, shut up. What's, what's in the white bag, though? That's what... I guess we'll see. This is Vivid Voltage. This one I'm not as sus oh, about. No, no, they seem legit to me. Yeah. We need a bargaining chip. We need a bargaining chip. Yeah. Luciana, Voltorb, Rockruff, Rayquaza! Rayquaza, amazing rare. And a Zarud V. Yeah, and Zarud, a V. Zarud That's a great ass pack, dude. Zarud Sandstorm. Yeah. I'm happy about that. I'll take that. I'm going to open the last Vivid Voltage. Ah, Chad's on his last Vivid. Go for it, dude. Again. That's just not happening this way with these. It's just not. White back. Ah. Imagine your last pack you pull the you pull the I would love it. Chew. I would love it. Come on, where's that big fat gay boy? Nope. Let go. Ah. Follow. No, no, it's just a big angry boy. Big angry ball guy. Yeah, he's in the balls. All right, back to me. So let me get this Zarud V put away. There we go. And vivid. Damn, I don't know of anybody that has any like Arrowhead collections or anything. I know a couple. I know uh, Zach uh, has been to Wyoming and has met a guy. That has a killer arrowhead collection. Yeah. Their 25th anniversary uh, promo cards, Dr. Dale, that they put in Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <clears throat> Much like my prized Dark Charmeleon from Australia. <laughs> It was in macaroni and cheese, which is even doper. Oh, dude, really? That's yeah, the shit. I had to, yeah, I had to search around for that one. That's the shit. A lot of people just didn't know. All right, and so here's 
the burning shadows with ease. White back. Hey. Oh, that's something back there. Oh, I see it. Ah, ah Guard of War GX. Damn. Okay, okay. Hmm. All right, back to me. So I'm going to open up some more Burning Shadows as well. This is my second stack of Burning Shadows. Yeah, these are... It may just be the plastic. I don't know. The stuff, the material that this I stuff's mean, made they, out of. I don't know. They were printed in 2017, so... It yeah, could be. the adhesive's probably gone bad. I don't know. Greenback. God dang it. Greenback. 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 Simseer. More little Crawler, Stuffle, NK, Duskull, Sophocles, Pessimian. All right. Back to you, Chad. Oh, shit. Uh. Poe Town. Back to you, brother. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Back to me. There we go. All right. Well, I mean, it's worth it to buy a Cinnamon Toast Crunch anyway. So if you get Pokemon cards with it, it's just like, you it, don't really look It's like, yes there. and yes. Like, <laughs> give me both. Whiteback, finally, another whiteback out of Burning Shadows. Been for hell and ever. All right. Oh, I see something back there. Orlipede, Guzma, Venipede, Sneasel, NK, Routes, Pikachu, and ha, Kaiwi Full Art. Okay. Uh... I'll take it, though. I'll take it. I'll take Damn. Kaiwi Full Art. But we got a reverse hollow Pikachu out of it as well. Happy yes, about that. Yes, which is very nice. Yes. All right. So, back to you, Sir Chadwick. Full art, I will also top sleeve this one while I'm at it. Oh, uh, Buffalant and ah, okay. All right, back to me. To you. There we are. Okay, another burning shadows. Here we go. So I packed up most of my games and uh, it took all the liquor boxes we got from the liquor store. <laughs> well, if you need some spare boxes, let me know. I've got a few down here from Amazon yeah, that y'all can borrow. Do. Okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll bring those up to y'all so you can use those for packing. Yeah, I didn't expect that, but... Yeah. Also, one of the screws is stripped on my display, and I was like, fuck. Nate wakes up and sees Chad Butt buck naked standing in his room what's nate's first reaction my first reaction is again no no i'll just no <laughs> chad <shh. laughs> no my first reaction would probably be like what'd you do this time man how drunk are you and, that, and i guarantee you he'll just be like gaba hababa i'm like oh god he's gone okay let's get this handled all right chad uh, first, let's get a let's get a blanket or a towel around you. Oh, 
I forgot to... Did I do the... No, did I do the card counting? I think I did, yeah. Grimer. Ah, Mudbray. And an Alolan Ninetales. Okay. Ah. Yeah. How many tiles? Nine. Nine. All right, back to you. Oh, this one's pretty loose. The motto of Australia. Welcome to Australia. Prepare to die. Too. Oh, again, dude. Sometimes this is sus. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, okay. Get Chad a blanket or a towel, and then eventually, you know, just have him sit down, try and co try and uh, calm down. Wait until the wait until the liquor wears off, and then ask him what the hell happened. And then also call up Nikki and be like, "All right, what did he do?" Right. And then Nikki will probably just be like, sure. "He just he just went what out butt doing? naked. He just went out on the street butt naked and started running." I mean, I couldn't stop him. You expect yeah. me to try and stop him? Give Chad a burrito award. All right, Chad, we bequeath unto you the almighty uh, bur the burrito award. Sound oh, good? Thank you, sir. Yes. All right, here we go. Bounding I shed. I like burritos. Burritos are good. I like burritos with Fritos. <laughs> burritos, burritos. Fritos, burritos? Yeah. You gotta love Taco Bell for that, dude. Greenback. Shit. Run, Forrest, run. Give Chad the White Claw Award now. That's the one he'll take. Yes. <laughs> All day. I need like, that award. Oh, yeah. And it's just Chad, and it's an award that has Chad on top, like, two-handing White Claws. Just, just, ah. Just like that would Stone, be Cold, day. Stone Cold Steve Austining. All right. Back to you, Chad. Let's see if this one's actually sealed. Yeah, it is. No peeking. Chad walking up to the Taco Bell drive-thru naked. Nah, he'll be naked, but he'll have a mask on. He'll be like, what? I still got my mask on. We just call that Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, that's Chick-fil-A. You walk up to Chick-fil-A and be like, I'm hungry. Wait. Open up. It, wait, what's today? Shit. All right. Oh, another reverse hollow Pikachu. Aha! And a Mudsdale. Okay. <laughs> All right. Back to me. Come on. There we go. All right. Frito pie. Frito pie with Wolf Brand Chili. Oh, from King of the Hill. Yeah. I saw Babish actually have a recipe for that. White back. Okay. One recipe for what? Uh Frito Chili Pie with Wolf Brand oh, uh, yeah. with Wolf Brand Chili. Good stuff. Oh yeah. He made it and it looked actually really, really good. Alright, I hope you get to feeling better. Take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Like the buzz, mount. NK. And of course I've had a burrito with a taco inside of it. Jesus. Pro brawler, sneasel, weakness. Amazing. And Porygon Z. Got a Porygon Z Hollow. Ah, interesting. Because uh, I've got Porygon. Porygon. I've got a Hollow Porygon, a Hollow Porygon Two. Now a Porygon Z Hollow. Z. Nice. Porygon Z. Last time on Porygon Z. And it's just Porygon going. Porygon. Porygon. Por -por Porygon. Now back to the show. And then another Porygon going. <laughs> Porygon. <laughs> and then another episode of both of them going Porygon Porygon yep yeah Floking. all right back to me back to you back to you good sir yes yes <laughs> Nate, we Texans live off Frito Pie, especially with sour cream, onions, and jalapenos on top. You're talking certain people's language right there. 
Me? I'd be good with just the the. I'd love to. There's a turkey chili recipe. I really want to. I really want to try. Up oh, uh -huh. green or another white back. Yay! Yay! One, two, three, four. I mean, Texas and barbecue go to get, like, dude, I just want to go to Texas just to try out the different types of barbecue. That shit yeah, looks unbelievable. Lichen Rocks Hollow and a Crabomitable uh, Reverse oh. Hollow. Pokemans. Pokemans, Pokemans, Pokemans. Go for it. Oh, I'm going all the way for it. I'll take French silk pie. I've heard about that. Fre uh, French silk pie. I've heard it's actually pretty good. I thought you said four inch silk pie, and I was like, that sounds interesting. <laughs> that sounds actually uh, not very PG. No. Oh, we just had a donation. Uh, let's see who Yay! it was from. It was $10, and it was from... Oh, I forgot. I, I, closed, that, I closed that page. There we go. Streamlabs. Come on, dashboard. Pull up for me. We had a dono from uh, Gentle Tauros, $10. Uh, what does Chad think of Monster Hunter Pokemon Edition uh, that is coming out in July? <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. Um, I think that that's a step in the right direction for Pokemon. And I think so, too. They're taking a risk, and I don't think they wanted to, but I think the overwhelming echo from their fan base of do some different shit we're in the year 2021 finally fucking struck a chord with them yeah oh and now they are steph uh steph i've actually had brisket before not from texas though but uh from what everyone says texas brisket is what the state is famous for um mm. and which i mean i know if if i'm ever in austin texas i am gonna wait in line at franklin's barbecue and i know a lot of people are like oh franklin that's overrated it's like I don't know. I'm willing to try it because if Gordon Ramsay says it's literally his favorite place to get like barbecue in the United States, that's saying something. Yeah. Mudbray and Shinotic. All right. Back to you, Chad. Love me some Texas yeah. barbecue. Omni, you have to go? All right, Omni. Take care. Flight back. Aha. Are we going to get some good shit? I don't know. I hope. Fingers crossed. I hope it's the best shit. Ooh, oh, Dark Ride. Oh, it's, the one, it's one of the ones you're looking for. Dark Ride not just, Full Art not GX. Rare, but it no, it's, is, dude. it's the Full Art GX, dude. That's still yeah. really good. He is the fucking man, dude. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that boy. Look at him. Yeah. Dead end. Mm-hmm. There it Dark is. Dark cleave. Very cool. Good shit, dude. Glad you got him. Yeah. Legendary, dude. ho -ho and Dark Rock. Be All warned. There's out. a reason why Austin's motto, uh, keep Austin weird. It, it's, uh, it's because it's full of a bunch of weirdos. I know, Steph. I know. Hell, that's one reason why I want to go, because I know that there's one... There's several places i want to go in austin but definitely like i want to go there for the barbecue i want to go there for the music i want to go there for a lot of things but that's whenever the pandemic's over the ability to pretty much drink when and where you choose yes yes that's also a badass thing about texas in general really <laughs> get hammered uh ellie may ask hey do you guys like up up down down i mean I think yeah. I think I liked it better back when it was still under the full control of Xavier Woods, but yeah, but the cheese of Vince McMahon will leech itself to anything. Well, of course, dude, they bought the channel out from under Xavier Woods because it was too popular. Like, I mean, like, and plus, not only that, but they limit the fact that you can't stream uh, 
if you're under the WWF banner, which is bullshit. I don't yeah, get it that. Is, especially if they're uh, private contractors or whatever. Oh yeah, they're not like they're not employees. There's a difference. Like right. it, legally, it's bullshit. But oh yeah, what are we gonna do? Just complain about it on the internet, like everyone else. <laughs> Austin versus Florida Man. Florida Man wins. Hands down. I mean, I mean, Jesus. Google Unless food. you account for oh. like Alex Jones. Uh, True Blue Aussie. I have seen uh, Google Foods. Uh, his, uh, his, he actually went to Austin, Texas, and went to Franklin's Barbecue, and he says it's the best American bar. Uh, again, like I trust his opinion too, and. He said it's probably some of the best that he's ever had. Like, again. And also, Aaron Franklin came out and said hi to Guga Foods, which I think is really cool. The guy who, like, runs the place. Yeah. Like, he is, act like, Aaron Franklin, I don't think he does it as much anymore, but for, like, he was, like, the main cook, the main guy serving on the line. He would work, on average, like, like 10, 12-hour days there, Jesus. five days a week. Oh, he loved it, but it's because he loved it, dude. He loved people eating his food and like telling him it's the best brisket or the best like ribs or the best uh, like like uh, spicy sausage that they've ever had. I mean, it's like when someone's that like in love with what they do, that's the good stuff. Like, yeah, and you know that they're not gonna bullshit you. That's what and that's what I I, I respect the hell of. I respect the hell out of. Uh, um, Aaron Franklin for the job that he's done building up Franklin's Barbecue. Anyway, back to you, Chad. Uh, yeah. Yeah! All right. Where that Charizard? Charizard? Where that god goddamn Charizard? Greenback. Ah. He won't that Charizard, but he ain't gonna come out easily. Nope. Fuck y'all. Oh, another reverse hollow Pikachu. That's three. That's three of them boys that we got. So, I am on my final 18 packs. I've got my six Shining Fates, six Burning Shadows, and six Vivid Voltages. We're saving the Shining Fates for last because, you know, reasons. But uh, I'm going to go half and half on these. I'm going to go one and then one on the Burning Shadows and Vivid Voltage. All right. Here we go. I'll go with uh, Vivid Voltage first because I haven't opened one of those in a little bit. We need something to trade. We need something to trade. Either that or we get... Uh, uh, I, either that or we need to get the uh, uh, the VMAX shiny Charizard, and then we're good. Then I'll be content. Yeah, that would be critical. Yep. I believe in us. I believe in us, too. All right. And Careless, Electric, Execute, Eevee, Woobat, Aracuda, C Dot, Quagsire, and Manectric. It's Manectric. Nate has an 18 pack. I thought people could only get a six pack. Gimster, I wish I had an 18 pack. Lyron, Lyron from the Trillist. Yeah. You thought yeah. Bruce Lee well, was well, the Trillist. Well, you want to know? Uh, here's an interesting thing. I don't got a six pack, I got a keg. And you want to know the one thing about it? If you go to a party, only five people are happy when you bring a six-pack. The whole party loves you when you bring a fucking keg. It's true. Oh, greenback. Ah. Ladybug reverse hollow. Ladybug. All right, back to me. All right. Uh, come on, open up. Uh, 
When you bring the keg, but it's empty. Who brings an empty keg to a party? <laughs> a dumbass. Yeah. If you bring an empty keg to the party, they will duct tape the keg to your back and make you walk home. That's the wrong uh, wrong way to humble flex. Yeah. It's like, yeah, hey, guys. I got a keg, but I know it's empty. You know, it's just... I just wanted to come to the party, bro. You know, just like, no. It's like, all right, no. grab the duct tape. No, don't do that one. Yeah. It's better than them duct taping the keg to your dick. And then you have to walk home with that thing swinging between your legs. <laughs> you even... No. You're not allowed. No more, Nate. Just that try was... and stop me. That was trifling. Why I know. Are you trifling? I'm trifling because I want to find a damn... I want to find a damn, like, rainbow rare, finally. Running low, man. We are running low. All right, back to you, Chad. We are. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this one. Oh, that's a good seal on this one. Oh, really? Finally. Yes, it is. A good seal. Is this going to be the white back finally? Oh, no, it's not. Damn it. Father mucker. Ain't that a bitch. Tis. Electra reverse hollow. Okay. All right, hey. back to me. Sorry. Uh, let's see. All right. Pull a goddamn dragon, dude. Um, I'm opening vivid, so it's gonna be a chunk of chew, more than likely. Oh, pull, pull, yeah. Pull, in, pull a bargaining chip. Pull a bargaining chip. Come on, what do we got? What do we got? I have something to trade. We need to trade. Ah, white back. Finally. Oh. oh. Could we? Could this be it? Please, please, Lord. Rocky helmet. Ah, Pikachu and... V. Pikachu ah. V. Damn it. We're trying to go hard for the Zard, dude. Yeah. Really want it. Really, really want it. All right, back to you, Chad. Here we go. Is this going to be a Charizard? Nope, because it's green once again. Can I at least pull Kermit the Frog? It ain't easy being green. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, which way is it to the uh, nearest uh, the nearest highway? Yeah, it's back the way you came. <laughs> All right. Manies. All right, give it to me. The char card eludes us still. Yeah, yes. the char card yeah. does elude us. It eludes us big time. Are you excited for Alpha Betas? Chili Pie, absolutely. I mean, I get to see, like, some of my YouTubers that I respect and I just love their content create something on their own that, like, they're taking a risk. I mean, I, how the hell could I yeah. be mad at that? You gotta support that. Gladly. Especially knowing that they don't have to. No. It's just because they really want to do something like that. That's neat. Well, it's just like us trying to do other stuff. I mean, oh, I know yeah. that I know that there's gonna be people, be people out there that say, "Y'all should just stick to what you know." It's just like, no. I mean, how about we do whatever the hell we want? That's just yeah, like that you, Chad. Like you whenever, wrong. you know, you want to go back into wrestling, or you want to yeah. do you, and it's when people say, "Oh, you shouldn't do that. You should, you should just stick to when what you and know." How I want to. That's how I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Just like music and everything else. Nick said it best right there. Just because they want their lives to be boring in one note doesn't mean we want ours to be. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Spreckensy truth. 
Hey Nate, no ripping cards. By the way, I oh, oh yeah, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, another of our solo Pikachu. Damn, that's four. We're attracting them, uh, them little electric rats. Mm-hmm. All right, back to me. Can be a good thing with you having those uh, vivid voltage packs. Still. Can you guys react to Google Foods on your channel? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm really the. I've seen a lot of Google Foods, so. I don't know if it'd be the best reaction if I was involved. I, I don't know. it. There's a lot of people out there who... Uh, there's a lot of uh, various like food channels out there that people... Flat back. Yep. All right. Telescopic Sight. Go-Goat. Drillbur. Whalmer. Cottony. Clobopus. Electrike. Coating Energy. And Dialga. Ah, Dialga. Doing some damage. Yep. All right. Back to you, Chad. White back, finally. Woo! The greenback curse on Chad has been broken for the time being. But what does that really mean? We'll <laughs> see. Oh, Lucario. That's what okay, Lucario Hollow. It's nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. All right, back very to me. Nice. Here we go. When is it going to be uh, frowned upon to do Borat impersonations? I'm waiting for that one next. I I don't know. I think as long as Sasha Baron Cohen keeps saying the right things in the public eye in terms of like staying on. The side that he's on, it'll be hard. It'll be hard enough to cancel him. Plus, I mean, you, there's also the thing really of not giving a fuck. Canceled, well, the there's thing, also yeah. the thing of not giving a fuck, which, again, I think he understands that because um, he's pretty heavy on that side. Well, not only that, but he also uh, just you know, in terms of not giving a fuck, you know, he understands that the mob will move on to something else, and you know, he just doesn't care. I mean. No. And he's really good at just, like, disappearing when he wants to. Yeah. And then he comes back a few years later with something else. And it's Lots not like he's doing anything, life. like, truly horrifying. It's not like he's grooming anyone or, like, hurting anyone. He pretty much punks people. That's it. A lot of times they do the shit that's awful to themselves, like Rudy Giuliani sticking his hands down his pants. Like, even if you were tucking in your shirt, would you do it at that point in time? I no. wouldn't. No. That's not the time to be sticking your hands down your pants, dude, unless you're a goof, which, you know, yeah. he is. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh, Azumarill. And Toxtricity. All right. Last three packs of Vivid Voltage and last three packs of Burning uh. Shadows. We need something to bargain with, Nate. I know, man. I know. Imagine if you got to be a special guest in the new Alpha Betas. Not likely, Chili Pie. Not likely. <laughs> but if they did invite us, I I wouldn't mind it. You know, uh, we'd be like those guys like on the side of the street yelling at each other. Just be like, what do you mean you got a ticket? I got a ticket. It's like, I asked you to I asked you to go get gas and you got a ticket. It's like, yeah, just like, the, like some innocuous thing on the side. And then they come along and they like run us over. And then Tyler's just like, do you guys feel that? Nah, okay. And then just move on. Like, that's what I imagine they would do. Just murder us? Yeah, well, of course. Know it. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't give idiots attention. I just... Oh, I do give them attention sometimes. I like to get after people verbally and uh oh yeah sometimes i do that it just depends i'm bipolar so it depends on what day it is white back hopefully it would be a day with more of those come on baby 
Give us some good shit. Give us some good stuff. Oh, oh okay. That guy? Salazzle, yeah. Salazzle. There's another one. Look at that cut. Maybe that's just that card. The centering is fucking terrible on it. Yeah. Probably. All right. Back to me. Two, three, four. This is a green back, by the way, so odds are not likely of something good in here. Although this is a vivid voltage, it could have an amazing rare. I shouldn't say too much. <laughs> Colin Walls says he spends most of his spare time on his fake email baiting. The stars. Charizard in the rare position. Whoa! Charizard in rare position, but not a reverse hollow. Still a good one. Yeah. Tis the Charizard. Yeah, I'll sleeve it. All right, back to you, Chad. Damn, this one feels different. Mm. This one feels really different. I don't know why, but it does. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, I'm bipolar. It's very specific. It just might be very specific. Uh, hey, Chad's bipolar, too. I mean, that's... Uh, he's a bipolar rock and roller, so... Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. I think everyone has like a, a mental deficiency on some, and just people are good at hiding it. Ah, oh, oh, you were right about something being in there. Yeah, it's not the one we're looking for. That Charmeleon is fucking sick. Isn't yeah. that two reverse hollows of it now? I think so. I think it is. Yeah, that thing is an awesome. Back to you, brother. Chili Pie, I live near cartoons. Apparently, my grandma sold him his house. She sold Luke his wow. house? That's cool. That's cool. I know that him and Delirious both live in North Carolina. And I know that Gorilla lives, I think, in uh, Alabama. So they're all, like, pretty close. I mean, we live in Tennessee, so that's something. Yeah. Whiteback. Not that far away. Nah. Ooh. Two, three, four. Olivia, Kaiwi, Stuffle, Crabrawler, Vile Plume. I got a vial as well. I pulled I pulled the butthole. Damn. Dang old Porky's butthole, man. That's Mrs. Poopy butthole. Oh god. Vile plume. Why back? Ooh, good shit. Ah. Ah, damn. Sorry, dude. You know, Charizard's looking a little, a little harder to catch right now. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm in the town below cartoons. Well, I mean, hell, Wildcat lives in Nashville, and we uh, we live in the Tri Cities. That's still a pretty good ways apart, though. That's like yeah, that's like a good four hour, four five hour drive. Too. Yeah, five on a bad day. Yeah, if anything, we could fly down because uh, fly down, or he could fly up because you know we got some like ten minutes. Oh yeah, ain't nothing by air. No, but we've got. Uh, an airport well, I mean, near the here. Airport like ten minutes away. Well, yeah. Plus, the airport we have near here is like friggin', like it's actually okay. It's not the best, but it's it. They actually you can, can you can fly out to almost any major hub from here. Yeah, almost. Like not west coast ones, but definitely east coast. Well, uh, in order to fly out like more west, you'd have to go to like Asheville. Yeah, uh, Asheville's really the closest one that you could get that does like. Like flies to Austin, Las Vegas, Colorado. Atlanta's the best one. When I went to oh, Atlanta's Vegas, international, Atlanta. dude. Atlanta's like yeah, you can fly to England. Was, you can fly to England from Atlanta. That shit was way cheaper from there. Yeah. All right. Back to you. Well, the reason why I say it is because my my I have a family member who works for a Legion, and I can get flight coupons for free. Oh yeah. Is there an 
That's the thing about the airlines, man. They take care of people's families on that shit. Well, yeah. And uh, that's basically my, my cousin. Uh, she's like, she's worked for Allegiant now for the last seven or eight years, I think. And she's finally getting Ooh. like the more high end coupons that's able to, uh, like, she can give them out to family members and all that. So that's cool. That's, I, I think that's. Yeah. And she ever and she said if I ever needed any to hit her up, she'd hook me up with a few. Yeah, that would be the man. Oh yeah, I asked her. You know, you mean if I wanted to go to Colorado, I could. And she's like, Oh hell yeah! Like, like I've been to Colorado multiple times, and I'm like, That's the shit. Yeah, dude. Imagine Anthony and his animated Gmod skid joining out of nowhere in Alpha Betas. I don't see that. I see Anthony coming in as like a like a friggin' angry. Like an angry, like drunk stepdad, and he's just like, "What do you mean you can't do it?" <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Oh, something's back here. Something oh, very, shit. very shiny. Back there. Okay. This is my last Burning Shadows pack. Imagine last. Oh, Tapabulu, <laughs> Tapabulu full art, GX. I'll Very take it. Cool. I've gotten several full arts here that I'm actually pretty happy about. Yeah. All right, back to you, Chad. Here we go, Tapabulu. Burning shadows. This one feels different too. Shining shadows. Oof. Watt back. Oh. Good sign, good sign. Ooh. Oh, DNC. Mm -hmm. Damn, love this top load here. All right, back to me. And uh, let's see. I've got my last pack of Vivid Voltage here. So if there was a chance for us to get uh, a uh, another Chonkachu. Uh, this is it. Yep. We need that bargaining chip, dude. Yeah, we do. Fuck. Green shit. Damn it. Ah, well. Oh yeah, the Mew Black Star promo number eight. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Electrike and a crocodile. Uh and that's it for all my vivid voltages and my burning shadows. You got another burning shadows left, don't you? I do, this is it. Alright. Go for it, my dude. Secret rare Charizard or not? Give us give us that big secret rare Charizard. A big GX Secret Rare Charizard. Can we get it? Drain. Damn. Damn. No, we cannot. <sighs> Another reverse hollow Charmeleon. Here we go. All right. Now to the Shiny Fates. Now we open the Shining Fates boxes and we see what lies within so here's my box i'm going to open this up i'm going ahead and bust them on open too yeah let's go ahead and just crack them both really don't be difficult with me there we go Got my six packs out. God damn, damn, I want to six packs and shit, man. Shit. Hell. Dang old six pack of Charizards, man. Dang, dang old. All right. 
I'm opening my first. Do it. One, two, three, four. Team Yeltal, Tropius, Gym Trainer, Choodle, Eevee, Nicket, Horsey. Oh, Santa Scorch oh, Shiny again, dude. damn it. And a Rillaboom. And then a Dick Tip. Yeah, so. Friggin' Don't hell. You harm a hair on that Rillaboom's head. He's alright. He is alright. I ain't gonna do nothing. I promise. Don't you do it. Well, it's only the first one, dude. I, I won't tear it. If we hit, if we get ten of these out of the twelve packs that we get, I'm ripping one of them. Why would you even say that? That's such terrible juju. Okay, we're gonna pull three Vmax Strandy Charizards. Thank you. There. How's that for good juju? Well, these open just as easily as the uh, as the Burning Shadows did. So there we go, and a white back. Oh. There we go, shiny. Shiny Sobble and and gym trainer, gym trainer. full heart. Cool. So, J Nick just pointed out a very interesting fact to me. Uh, if plastics are made out of petroleum and petroleum are made out of fossils, aka liquid dinosaurs, then yeah. aren't uh, plastic dinosaurs actual dinosaurs? Yeah. Chad Probably concurs, so. Nick. He thinks that, that, that the logic checks out on that. Alright. So I got my next Shining Fates here. It's the Charizard on the front, but odds are there's no Charizard in here. So let's open it blindfolded. Gosh. Imagine a Womble and Badger collab. Oh, that'd be too much Soviet power for, for one video. Yeah. I mean, because you got the Russian Badger and Soviet Womble. I mean, come on, dude. Yeah. All right. Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Dartrix, Weasel, Yanma, Trapinch, Nicket, Gossifleur, Reverse Hollow Chutel, and Zarud. Uh. So a Reverse Hollow out of that one. All right. Back to you, Chad. You got this? White back. Mmm. All right. Ooh! Oh, a Kyogre. Uh, amazing rare. And a Manaphy. Yep. All right. All right. Wow. That's nice. I didn't know that he was in shiny fights like that. Oh, yeah. I've pulled him once before. Okay. All right. Back to me. All right. What do we got? Come on, boy. You got this, boy. All right. One, two, three, four. Eevee, Weasel, Yanma. Trapinch, Ball Guy, and Thievel. Uh, a Hollow Thievel and a Reverse Hollow Ball Guy. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I want to see this secret rare Charizard, dude. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the shot. I want to see it too. Shiny V Max Charizard. We want it. They've been avoiding you your entire life, and if you pull one, that's the shit. 
this is the granddaddy of them all right now. Mm-hmm. This is Aside it. from the Chonga Chew. Yeah. Which, I'm still floored that we got the Chonga Chew even Ooh. weeks and weeks later. Horsey. Team Yeltow. Uh, professor's, professor's Research, research of course. Give me a she break. had to show her face one more time. All hopefully right. only. Yeah, hopefully that'll be it. All right, here we go. Team fucking Yeltow. Those guys really pissed me off in the game. Team Yell? Yeah. You know, I think I think you were right. I think they are based off of the terrible towel uh, tribe from uh, from Pitts the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Or maybe there's a British football team like that. Maybe I don't know. Oh, Ooh, see, I've got one, one too. And of course, Professor's research had to rear her ugly oh, head again. Oh my God, you called it out of thin air into existence, dude. What did I say, dude? What did I say? You said that I'm going to get the shiny Charizard right here. Yes, I did. You're going to get the said. shiny Charizard, and you are going to be extremely happy. I heard you when you said it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Metal Douche Mike. Hold on a second. Ooh, shiny. Impidimp. There you are. And Decide do I. Nice. Sorry, I had some stuff uh, brewing in my chat I had to handle. Yeah, there. Some people are being... Crusty? Yeah. Be nice. Play nice, younguns. I mean, no... I didn't have any other mods in chat, so I had to handle it, so... Sometimes you gotta do your thing, dude. And especially when they won't lay off. It's just like, enough. Like, if the person in chat is saying lay off stop and you don't stop then you know you gotta handle that stuff pretty much zarud and a volcanion volcanion <laughs> all right back to you chad Peck OV. Dang it. Ah, I was hoping. Me too, dude. Me too. Alright. My last Shining Fates pack for now. Here we go. Where's the thick Thanos card? Uh, nowhere. Nowhere. I don't know. Fate. Sick. Ooh. Oh, I want to see something. Me Not too. getting my hopes up. Not getting my hopes up. Just going to pull these and see what happens. Trap Inch. Shinx. That's uh, not our boy, I don't think. Corviknight. Oh, oh, fucking Alchemy. Really? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Fucking Alchemy. Uh oh. This girl said I had a dream last night that I was being chased by Freddy Krueger throughout my house. But when he ran by my dog, he sucked the pet and looked at me and went, 
what? It's not his nightmare. He's a good boy. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. That's actually really, really funny. It's the last pack, bro. Are you uh, ready? Oh, on you, Chad. Go for it. Last Shining Fates pack, everyone. This is it. The last pack of the night. Nick it, Rowles, uh, and the young man. And a bust. Nothing. Damn. There we go. Well, at least you got a, a secret rare right before the end. The very last one. It's just, it's fucking alchemy. It's know, friggin' alchemy. And I, well, it was still fun. Oh, yeah. No, no. I love it, dude. I love this stuff. And, Hell yeah. like, these are the best cards I've got tonight. Let's see. I've got my, uh, my Ho Oh, which I pulled first. I got my Rayquaza. I got my uh, Tapu Bulu, full art. I've got my Kyogre. You got a Kyogre as well. Got my Corviknight, my Alchemy, my Scorch, and my Kaiwi full art. So yeah, there we go. Those are my my eight that I uh, top-loaded tonight. How about you, Chad? Hey, uh, give me just a second. All right, go I for it. Because I ran out of shit. And uh, yeah, so there's some that I tucked away, but for me... I am happy about all the VMAX mm -hmm. cards. They're always good ones. Oh, yeah. VMAX cards are definitely dope. You ain't kidding. So there's those. Then I got GX cards. That Darkrai Full Art's awesome. The Raikou um, Amazing Rare, always mm -hmm. really, really cool. And then Gold... The gold card. choice bend. Yeah. And Leon, you know, Charizard trainer. Yeah. From Sword and Shield. Very cool. And then some other shinies and stuff. But overall, pretty damn good. Just yeah. disappointed about not getting that Charizard, not getting the fucking bargaining chip that we need to trade the Wildcat. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully we'll be able to we'll be able to uh get more of these here soon and hopefully be able to open more packs. If the scalpers eventually, you know, take their foot off the gas pedal and stop buying up everything in this freaking area. Jesus. But we'll be brainstorming some stuff. Like, we'll do that sorting stream, and honestly, that yeah. sorting stream could be a couple. Oh, it'll be. It, it'll probably have to be a couple. It'll take a while. Yeah, We've got a lot be. of cards, as you guys have seen, so it's going to take us a little while to get through that. I got two full out. sorting boxes back here, plus extra just filled to the brim with these cards mm -hmm. and we're going to have to go through them and get them in their respective uh uh trade uh trading boxes and then have them sent off to people in the raffle yeah. so that's going to be a lot of fun so oh yeah yeah and plus if y'all want to come to that stream and y'all want to take part in uh you know seeing what's available for the raffle and whenever we hold the raffle y'all can take part in it and uh yeah. we'll send them to you free of charge no uh no uh you know, we are going to pay for it all out of pocket. Be better than that. I don't think you can get any better than that. And we'll see if we can do international as well. International had to be a little bit more complicated. It's a little bit more complicated with that. But we'll see. Right. We'll see what we can manage. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in the chat, thank you all very much for tuning in. Thank you all very much for taking part in this with us. And I guess until next time, signing off, I am Nate. I'm Chad. And we will see you later, everyone. Peace out. See y'all. Dude.